lo and behold, it's our very good friend, Mike Munro. Good morning. Hey, Jonesy, Amanda, how are you? Very well. Do you like being called Munners? Um, actually, I've got a n number of different nicknames. Um, anyone who knows me really well, like close family, uh, only calls me Michael. Michael? Does yeah. your wife call you Michael? Yeah. Yeah, all, all my family, well, I don't have any blood family, we, they're all, they've all passed away, but all Lee's family and, and close mates that I've been in kindergarten with all call me Michael. Um, I became Mike when I joined 60 Minutes for I'm Mike Munro. Oh, really? Uh, so you were never Mike before then? Never. In fact, all my newspaper bylines for 12 years were always Michael because it's three extra letters. I never wanted to be Mike because I got three extra letters in my byline for, for years in newspapers. My newspaper mates call me Mickey, um, and and sort of basically, I guess Channel Nine, Channel Seven now always call me Munsey. Munsey? Yeah, I'm not really a Munners at all. No. It, well, did you do that because you got extra extra letters in your story? Because I, I, when yeah. I write for Live to Ride, which I'm sure you read Live to Ride magazine, for those who don't know, is like the Bulletin. That's right. With motorcycles and half naked women. But I write a column. It's going to be a thousand words. So sometimes I write, I really, 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 really enjoyed this article, Brendan James, Horatio Jones. Yeah. I, I put that whole thing there so it fills out, it pads the article. Yeah, well, that's right. I, I, well, I wasn't quite Michael Kenneth Mark Munro, <laughs> but I was just Michael Munro. Yeah, yeah. Because of the extra letters. Sometimes I got a Mike, Mike Munro byline and I went to the went to the sub and said, could you make it Michael, please? Mm. And Mum always insisted on me being called Michael. She didn't like me call, being called Mick or Mike at all. She wouldn't have liked Munsey. No, she, oh no. She would always say to people, his name is Michael. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So what's Michael got on the program on Sunday night? Um, we, uh, I, for the last six months, we've been trialling, you'd appreciate this, Amanda, all both of you as parents, but, but um, trialling a, um, a heartbreaking story of a mother um, whose Lebanese father stole their two children 12 months ago. The anyway. Lebanese husband, you mean? I'm sorry. Mm. Um, for the last uh, six months, I've been trailing uh, this poor mother who's been trying to get her children back after her ex-husband stole the two children from Sydney and, uh, and went to Lebanon. Um, she's been reduced to a cherished one-week phone call for about half an hour to the children every week. Um, all the photo most of the photographs were taken, all the videos were taken. She has very few memories of them left. R the reason for that is that he wants her to come over to Lebanon to, um, to, to move back with the family. Not to resume a marriage after that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a absolutely. And, and if she cries during the phone calls, he says, if you cry again, you're not having your phone call next week. You've cried, you've upset them. I'm not going to have you doing this to my children. No phone call next week. And she doesn't have a legal leg to stand on. Not a legal leg to stand on. The, the, the um, Lebanon is not a part of the Hague Convention of, of, on International Child Abduction. So, uh, and, and also, you know, as we know, Lebanon is very much a male-dominated mm. society and, and wi wives and mothers have very few rights. Uh, so we have Gee. snuck back in there, into Lebanon with her, to try and uh, rescue the children and bring them back. It's an interesting dilemma mm. as a woman. You think, do you put your personal happiness aside to spend your life with your kids? That's exactly the whole point of the question. This is, this is a story about a mother's love and how far she will go and how much she will risk uh, her own safety, her own well-being, uh, to go back and get the children and, uh, and and to go back she has risked jail in Lebanon we all have really the whole all of us the crew the lot um, and 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 secondly for her if, if she were if she was caught to be trapped there with the husband who could put a stop order on her ever leaving the country Wow God it's like a novel mm. that you wouldn't believe it, it, well it's you know it's it's very similar to the Betty Mahmood story not, uh, mm. not not without my daughter that's it yeah yeah so it's 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 a it's a you know it is a very it's a heartbreaking story, um, you know reconnaissance, you know we did rec recon trips of you know two meters away watching the children get off the bus. This is where the pickup will happen, um, but not she's in, in scarves and and and, and um, sunglasses not to be recognised. This is where it will happen. This is where the bus will pull up. This is where we'll go. Will we use a fast boat? Will we go straight to the airport? Can we trust the drivers? Um, it's a it's a real cloak and dagger number. Wow, that's a, that's some compelling telly on Sunday night there. And, and, and what else? Anything on a lighter note, Mike? There is, there is there anything on a lighter note? On the other hand, on the other hand, lift it a little bit. Uh, Rebecca Madden has gone up um, with uh, with probably Australia's top pilot. He was RAAF, uh, flew in the in the US during the Iraq War. Who has now just joined the Red Bull 
um, just, you know, yep. flying team. <laughs> that's um, that's what they. That's the name of their their banner. Oh, that's right. It's the Red Bull Flying Team. Oh, is that right? That's, no, I just made that up. Oh, well, it sounded very convincing. <laughs> the, the Red Bull Flying Team. Team. After a few Red Bulls, we all fly like yeah, that. That's right. Well, she's gone up. She's gone up with this with this uh, this unique pilot and and pulled four and a half Gs herself. And I don't know whether you've ever done that in a, in a jet. I've done five Gs. Oh. Amanda Amanda pulled a G the other day when she wore that inappropriate underwear to work. <laughs> oh, right. I've been it pulling was, it out ever since. It was riding up there. <laughs> and talk about suffering. And let me guess, she fell in love with him? Who couldn't? Well, well, I don't know whether she fell in love with him. She may have, but she certainly uh, had a little vomit. Oh, she got out of the I was going, that's, how could you not do that? No, yeah. She, yeah, no she, she was feeling very ill getting out of the plane and then rushed to the toilet because you've done it. If you were true journos, yeah. you'd have filmed her. Well, we filmed it going sick. into the bathroom because mm. I, 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 I rang her coming here this morning just to get some background and I said, okay, did you vomit? And she said, yes, I did. I said, did we film it? And she says, <laughs> no, but you filmed me, we, we filmed, filmed me going into the bathroom um, to, you know, to, to be sick. And I said, oh, okay, fair enough. Can right. you recreate it in the studio? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Back in your day, mate, you would have been kicking that door down. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Saying, excuse me, and where's Roland Blyer? <laughs> that's right, right. That's right. Roland Blyer. Oh break God! Remember him, Jeez. Well, Munners, if we can call Munzee. you Munners. I like the Munners. Is that? That's our name. Anything oh, you like, man. Anything you like. Six thirty, Channel Seven, Sunday night. Thank you very much for having me. Can I just say quickly to Amanda, congratulations on. Uh, on the Generation Show. Thank you. Will you come on and be a boomer with me? If you're desperate. Will you be a bloomer with me? If you're, if you're desperate for, for a dummy who won't get any answers, fine. <laughs> I'll put you forward. And I like how we mentioned uh, Amanda's bloomers yet again. <laughs> the big G. That's